Yes, Etsy family, I hope you guys are well. Why are so many people quitting Etsy, right? Why do people quit Etsy? Now listen, this is nothing new. This is nothing new. People quit and start all the time. There's probably more people starting Etsy than quitting. But it's about staying the course. Now, I'll say this all the time, and this video is really about you understanding um, online business and, and knowing that, you know, it's not all rosy, okay? Um, but before I get into this video, if you love Etsy products, you love creating, researching, listening, all that mad, mad, mad stuff, then please hit like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and don't forget to share because that's what we do over here. Guys, do check out my Etsy community. Uh, started one recently. Check it out. Link there. Just join. Get your uh, questions answered. Uh, everyone's got questions on Etsy. So yeah, good place to start. But anyways, listen, this video is really about understanding that people quit things all the time. You know, they start things, they quit things, they think some things are easy buck, easy to do, straightforward. But look, what in life is straightforward? Like what in life is, is easy? What in life that is worth anything good is easy, right? You can do, you can, you can say anything. You know, you can say anything, whether it be your nine to five job, whether it be your relationship, uh, whether it be being a parent, nothing is easy if it's good, right? Um, and this is the same thing. Etsy is the same thing, right? Yes, sometimes we look and see and think, wow, these people are making so much money on Etsy. What's wrong with me, mate? What's wrong with me? What's about understanding is the time, it's the time. Yeah, it's a particular time that you're looking at. And what I mean by that is you could be looking at all these listings and sometimes I'll show you these listings of these listings making money, but you don't understand the background story. The background story for many of these listings or stores are that they've kept on failing. They kept on failing, listing after listing after listing, all getting zero sales, zero revenue, listing after listing. And then all of a sudden they, they find something that works <clears throat> and it's not by accident. It's through trying, it's through pivoting, it's through tweaking, it's through changing, it's through developing, it's through improvement that you find something that works. Because essentially you have to fail first to be able to win, right? That's going to happen. So when people fall on the first hurdle and they say to me, yeah, but AJ, I'm not getting the sales. And I'm like, you only got 10 listings. Like, relax. I mean, this is, this is a long game. This is not a short term fix. Um, you have to go all in. You can't be half-hearted. You have to try your best. You can't be doing like one or two listings a month. You know, that's just ridiculous. You have to be working on this. Now, I understand that people have work to do like nine to five jobs. Yes, it's about what are you trying to do. You want to get out of your job, let's say, or you want to be in charge of your own destiny or whatever it is that has drawn you to the Etsy platform to do this. Or you might just enjoy doing designs and you just want to create stuff or you're a you're quite creative and you just like to do this as a sort of hobby. Whatever it is, essentially, in, in the lives that we're living, we all want to improve our lives. We all want to be in charge of our destiny. We all want to be having our own businesses. But that takes work. That takes time. And that takes real dedication. And I'll say this all the time. You have to be dedicated. Now, I know it can work really, really, really well. And you can make a fabuloso living. And you've seen me, I've shown you like evidence and, and, you know, all the time. However, just remember with every bit of evidence or, or example I show you, and I keep saying it, there's a background story of struggle, of strife, hardship, of, of you know, waking up those, those, uh, those early mornings or staying up late, trying to get things done, learning as you go along, because it does take a lot of learning. You can't understand what's going on on Etsy overnight. You can't expect miracles overnight. Now, sometimes you might get lucky and sometimes, you know, a really good listing and you've hit everything right. You've done the research right. You've done the design right. And the, 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 the planets are all aligned for you, mate. Sometimes it just works that way. You've got a bit of luck on your side sometimes. It can happen. And then that, that listing can just fly and it can really take off. And sometimes there are people's stores where you've got one listing, which is making more money than all the other listings put together. And, and so on. So there are various journeys and various stories. But the reason why people essentially leave is because they quit. They quit on themselves. Yeah, sometimes there are reasons that are out of your control. Let's say, you know, Etsy suspends your store and, and things like that that happen, which are not great, obviously. And that's pretty sad to happen and, and can be very, very distressing, by the way. 
However, again, in life, this, we can just equate it to life. You know, things happen along the way. You know, we're not guaranteed tomorrow. You know, we are striving. We are hoping. Um, but if we take away, if you take away that hope of you achieving something for yourself, then what is there? What is? What else is there? You need to keep going. You need to keep working because you know it can work. And the ones that are are staying the course, the ones that fall and keep falling, but they get up and they don't stop, are the ones in the end that win. And you have to have that mindset. So you need to be working on yourself on a daily basis. A daily basis, guys. You need to be working on yourself to know that this is going to work. It might take time, but I'm there and I'm ready for it, right? If you say this to yourself every single day, anything positive is a bonus, right? Anything positive is a bonus. And look at these failures as learning curves. Don't look at them negatively. This is the other issue. People look at failure as like it's personal, you know, it's, it's only on them and they are, they, are, they are terrible and they're not worthy. And they start really looking at themselves and as not being worth anything because of failing. But you got to understand something. If you don't fail, you don't win. You have to fail. You need to fail so you can understand how you failed and what, why you failed, right? You need to understand the reasons for failure so you can improve for the next time, right? But you have to give yourself a good chance. And your mindset is one of the strongest things out there to help you do that. If you don't create a positive mindset, if you don't shut away all the negativity, because don't forget, look, people out there, there's a lot of people that want to do things, but they're not brave enough to do it, right? The, the fact of the matter is they're not brave enough to do it. You have to be brave. It does take a, a, some part of bravery to do this. It does, 100%. Because look, don't forget, like you're working, let's say, a nine to five. And yet you're going to have to work again a few hours to do this, right? And some people are not cut out for that. Some people are like, you know what? I'm not doing that. I'm just going to do my, you know, nine to five, my grind, my daily grind. And that's it. That's my fill. That's what I do. And I'll just take it as it is. But if you're one of those people that you don't accept that, or you're not happy with that, or you don't want to do that, and you want to do your own thing, you want to grow your own thing, you want to have potentially a business that can grow beyond just the hours that you put into work, right? Then you must push it and pursue it. Because if you don't, you're going to have something inside you that's going to eat away at you. And it's going to be like constantly pushing you, telling you that you're, you're a failure. So you need to, every time you're on the platform or you're working towards something, is a great day. That's how you have to see it. Whether you sell or not, that is, does, doesn't matter. Because every day you're learning something new. Every day you're improving something and like I said, even though you're failing, you're still improving, you're still developing, right? And in the end, you got to understand, you will win. And that's what you have to put in your head. In the end, however long that journey is, I will win, right? So that at least when you look back in the future, in your fu to, your future uh, in, to your future self, right? Looking back, right? You will say to yourself, I gave it a go, right? I gave it a go and I made it work, right? Imagine like that happens, right? And like I said, the story is so common. I see it every single day. You know, I've seen stores that have five, six, seven hundred listings, right? And then in the end, they absolutely smash it. And then they're starting to get 10, 15, 20K a month, right? Imagine the elation for that. Imagine how amazing that feeling is, that dropping, falling, failing over and over and over again. But yet you've got that mindset to say, get up. Get up. You can do this. Get up again. Get up again. Yeah. And you will do this. So that's the main reason why people fail, uh, leave Etsy because they're leaving everything else. They, they start and stop. They start and stop. It's not just Etsy. They could be starting other businesses and they're stopping. Right. Do not quit. Do not quit on yourself. Not on Etsy. Do not quit on yourself. Give yourself that chance. Give yourself a real good go. Say to yourself, I don't care if it takes 2,000 listings doesn't matter you will learn now everyone's journey is different some people like figure it out and learn and be able to do stuff after i don't know 50 listings and they're they're starting to make money yeah it does happen but it's not common it's not common what is common is it takes a bit of time it takes a bit of time because sometimes you're not quite getting the right niche sometimes your research is not on point sometimes your seo is all over the place sometimes your mock-ups are terrible there's so much to it there's so many parts there's so many moving parts so many pieces of the puzzle to get right by the way that it doesn't always happen that you get everything right. So, you know, it does take time generally. So 
Don't be dismayed. Don't be down. Don't be depressed. Don't let it get to you. It's all part of the course. Failure is part of the course. But in the end, know this. You will win. You will thrive. And you will beat the algorithm. I'm telling you now. Just stick with it. Take care. See you in the next one, mate. See you on the next one.